Once summer's here, we all know what the next season is, deer season. And it's a great time to get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. Preparing for deer season is important to get all the gear we need, get all tuned up, and do some scouting. We'll put some venison in the freezer for our family this fall. One of my favorite tools is food plots. Whether you grow them in the summer to help feed deer while they're producing milk for those fawns or antlers, or just a fall crop, it's important to use a diversity of species in your food plot blends. When I say several different species, think about it like this. I'm gonna use a grain like milo or corn to produce a grain, a crop that deer can come eat. Think of something like acorns, but this time we're growing those grains in an area we wanna hunt. Then I want some legumes. Of course, those would be like peas, beans, alfalfa. Legumes are really high in protein content. And that protein's necessary for those does feeding during the summer to produce really high quality milk for the fawns and bucks growing antlers. Antlers are about 90% protein during the growing season. And once they harden off, they start pumping calcium in there at about a two to one ratio. So having crops that are high in calcium like alfalfa can be a good thing to put in your blend also. Blends are also more drought resistant. One species could be subject to a drought or a pest and you could lose your whole crop. But when you got several species growing, kind of put your bets up so no matter what happens, something's gonna be there to feed the critters where you're hunting. Summer's a relatively short season. You remember that back when you were in grade school, right? You couldn't believe school was starting again. Kind of true in the deer world too. So we're gonna plan about August or September, about school time, and that crop is gonna last us all through the deer season and in the turkey season the following spring. We're gonna plant some species in that live a lot longer. Think cereal grains like winter rye, wheat, and oats. We got some clovers in there, that protein again, that will come on really strong in the spring for those does are in the last trimester of carrying the fawns or bucks are starting to grow antlers. Some brassicas, because we all know deer love turnips at a certain time of year, some radishes. Again, the blend will help you feed deer through those changing conditions of fall, winter, and spring. I hope these tips and techniques help you grow some successful food plots and put more venison in your freezer.